everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I have a good bit to, to share with you today. Uh, we're going to start out by me sharing our little time with Maverick and Candace and Dustin on our 39th anniversary. I'll tell you more about that wedding anniversary. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Then I have a haul from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and the Minuteman Mini Mall. We've done a little bit of shopping here and there. Not a ton from every place, but a little bit from each place. Then I'm going to give two shout outs to two of my favorite young people on the planet. And then I have, I think, four or five questions that I'm going to answer. So let's get started. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Uh, and I hope all is well with everyone. I really do. <laughs> uh, but let me start out by telling you about our visit with Maverick. So Saturday was our 39th wedding anniversary, you guys. <laughs> And uh, thankfully, uh, Dustin actually had to work that day. So Candace said, Mom and Dad, why don't you guys come on up so to visit? And we're like, okay, you know, you don't have to, to uh, twist our arms any to come and visit. So we went late enough so that we could stay and see Dustin when he got home from work. Uh, but we spent, you know, the afternoon hours with Candace and Maverick, and we just had a blast. And I'm going to show you pictures and whatnot as we're going here. Maverick, Maverick is, is the sweet, most sweet-natured baby other than his own mama. His own mama was sweet-natured like that. He, but he is just so sweet-natured. He smiles all the time. He has a, 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 a innate sense of music when we turn on music he just be bops and and he can be playing with something else and his little foot's going or his head's be bopping or he's swaying or we can sing and he's doing the same thing he is really got the music in him he really does now that said i'm not surprised for one thing his daddy is very talented very musically inclined his mama is very talented very musically inclined and then this entire side of the family is very musically inclined. <laughs> so, uh, he is, he's, it's kind of stuck with the music, I guess, <laughs> you know, which is a good thing. I think I love it when kids go into music, it gives them, it uses that part of their brain and they're usually very creative kids. All the band kids that we ever had were so creative and, um, uh, amazing. But anyway, I'm super happy to see that he's got the music in him, you know? <laughs> so we really spent a lovely day and he's walk almost walking. He, he lets go and he stands for a few seconds and he's going to be taken off any minute. He's, let's see, he's 10 and a half months old. So go, please. Pick up. Oh, okay. I'm trying, Grandpa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Yeah. No. But we had a wonderful time. It was a wonderful, wonderful visit and just the best way that we, we couldn't think of a better way to spend our anniversary than with him and Candace and Dustin and Kristen too. But Kristen's, as I said, she's getting ready for, she's going to be teaching summer school. <laughs> so she's spending her weekends trying to get herself prepared she's so busy during the week. They're still not all the way back in school here in Virginia. Uh, and she, so she's got so much on her plate, you guys. She's got so much on her plate. I'm telling you. So anyway, we had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful time up there and had a lovely anniversary. And Chris got me roses, red roses. I came out. He always gets up before me. So by the time I came out, uh, 
from waking up in the morning. Here sat a dozen of roses, red roses, beautiful roses, a beautiful card that he obviously picked, you know, and stood there and read the cards and two Hershey chocolate candy bars. <laughs> and as somebody had said in my Facebook group, I thought you liked peppermint patties. I do like peppermint patties. Peppermint patties are my favorite when I'm dieting or not that I'm not dieting, I'm dieting all the time, but you know, my very favorite candy is just a milk chocolate candy bar. Uh, so he got me two of those and he had my tea cup there and my Keurig cup and my, you know, my Splenda all lined up and it was all ready to, you know, to go. And he was outside working in the yard, <laughs> which is where he always is. <laughs> so how sweet was that? It was wonderful. So that's the way my day started out and it just got better and better. So Thank you guys for all of your wishes uh, here on YouTube, on Facebook and beyond. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the wonderful wishes and uh, wonderful positive words and great wishes and love and hugs. I appreciate every single one of you. Every single one of you. Thank you so much. Uh, so that does our weekend. Yesterday, we just kind of just hung out at the house and we didn't do, we went out to lunch, but we didn't do a lot. You know, went to church in the morning and then, you know, just kind of hung out. So anyway, uh, but I have been doing a little bit of shopping. Uh, I went into, Ho no, I'm fibbing. I had or made place this order actually with Hobby Lobby last week. I was hoping I was going to get this in to show you last week, but it didn't come until Saturday while we were gone. It was sitting in front of the garage door when we got back from, from Candace and Dustin's. So I've got this from Hobby Lobby. And I've got a haul from the Minuteman Mini Mall. That's what we did yesterday afternoon. I am fibbing. We didn't just hang out. We went over to the Minuteman Mini Mall. And I just tootled around in there just a little bit. I always like to go in there to see if they have new milk glass pieces or any blue and white pieces. So I've got just a few things to show you from there. And I already have a place where I'm going to put them too. So I'll tell you about that. And then uh, we just went to Michael's this morning. And I picked up just a few things that I'll explain why I picked them up in just a minute. So let's go to Hobby Lobby. Now, for once in my life, I did I placed this order because all of this stuff was on sale. It was on sale. And I did it just because I wanted to, not because I necessarily needed to. And I know there's going to be people out there going, oh, there goes Arlene again. She's hauling stuff on her channel again. Oh, brother, like she needs one more thing. Why does she keep buying stuff? Trust me, they're out there, you guys. So, um... I buy stuff because I want to and because I can and because I did a big purge too and I am still collecting things for my blue and white decor so to the naysayers you can naysay all you want folks uh you know I'm gonna do what I do I spend my own money it's not anybody's business why I spend my money or what I spend it on or that I'm hauling on my channel Believe me, believe it or not, 99% of the people who watch my channel like to watch the hauls, except for the few couple of you who have an issue. So you go have an issue for yourselves, go right ahead. You know, in the meantime, the rest of us are going to haul some stuff. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, first thing was this little, uh, this little stool. Isn't that cute? I just thought that was so cute. And I'll flash up how much things were here. This was in the spring shop, so it was 50% uh, off of $24.99. So there we go. Isn't that cute? And I'll just put this with, you know, layered in displays. You know, this will sit on the floor with a two-tiered tray on it, three-tiered tray on it, a, a lantern sitting up on it, who knows what all, a uh, little Boyd's Bear sitting on it, whatever, whatever. But I just think I love to have little extra pieces like this sitting around you know, or were ready for me to grab to put into in with my displays. So I love it. I got that. Then, yikes, I picked this up, which I thought was really cool. It looks like a basket of flowers. Uh, it's it's very farmhousey, isn't it? It really is. And I do like farmhouse. I just don't like my whole house to be farmhouse. But I do love this look. Look at it. Looks like a basket weave almost, or kind of a lattice look if you will, and with roses. And I just think it's super pretty. And this was out of the spring shop too. I 
think it says $29.99, but let me be sure. Yes, $29.99. Not super heavy, but it's a little bit heavy. $29.99. Cute, huh? I love it. So I got that. Then I got this little towel. And if you remember the pictures in my powder room, one of them looks almost just like this. So when I came across this, I couldn't resist it. So, I'm like, so I got this like to hang on my towel rack in between two blue towels. So I thought it was super cute. Just a, it's just a towel. Love it. And I am going to put it back in this bag because the pollen out here, y'all, is everything looks kind of yellow. <laughs> so I'm going to put it back in so it doesn't get any pollen on it. And then I got me a little church birdhouse, which I have been eyeing this for a while. Uh, it came out of the spring shop too. I believe it's $29.99 too. Yeah, $29.99 as well. But I just thought this was super cute. And again, just to go in one of my displays, and again, I bought this stuff without a specific place to put it. Normally, I, you all know me, uh, who watch me all the time, know that I usually buy things with, a, you know, and use them. But I did buy these kind of just to use when I want to come, when I want a little something new in a vignette. So I love this. I think it's super pretty. It looks like a little church with the steeple. Birdhouse. Love it. So, and then one more thing, and I found this and I, and it was on, did I, no, it was on sale and this was originally $33.99, but it was on sale for 50% off and uh, it's a candle holder, as you can see, and I have one exactly like it. I bought one a couple years ago, or maybe a year ago to go in one of Bella's lanterns. And I decided instead of the candlesticks that I'm using on either side of the dough bowl right now, I thought I would use these instead because this really matches the dough bowl a little bit better than uh, what I'm using right now. So I may replace those two candlesticks with these. And I just thought these were super pretty. And more in line with the dough bowl look, you know. So that is it, y'all. That's all I got from Hobby Lobby. So it was a pretty good little haul, you know. And, and again, just stuff that I thought I might use at some point. The towel will get, you know, hung up right now, obviously. So there that was. And now let me tell you about the Minuteman Mini Mall. We went running over there yesterday, right before a storm hit. We ran in there like, oh my goodness, came out. It was pouring down rain. Uh, but I, I kind of just went in and went to the booths that I know that I like and uh, couldn't really find anything new. I was surprised. I was surprised. Although I'm hearing that a lot of people are having some trouble still getting merchandise in. So I guess maybe they've not been doing a lot of shopping at estate sales or, or whatnot. So I don't know. But they did, I couldn't find any milk glass that was new or that was different. I always look for different kind of looking you know, milk glass stuff. But what I did come across was these three little blue plates and they already had the plate hangers on them. Look at that. And they were $6.95 a piece. And I know I'm going to hang them right here in my um, dining room. It's on a little wall to the right of my, uh, to the right, right of my sideboard. I'm going to hang them one, two, three in a row. So that one, and then this one. And again, it has the hanger. All three had the hangers already on them. It's like, wow, what a bonus that is. And then this one looks like grape, grape, grape leaves. And again, with the hanger on the back. Aren't they pretty? Oh, and I thought, how perfect with my blue and white decor, right? So as I said, they were $6.95 a piece. I didn't think that was bad with the hanger already on and in place and securely on. I thought it was, I thought that was a good deal. Very nice. So 
I'll show you those in another video when I get them into place. Maybe in my home tour, you know, when I get them into place. So but that's all I got from the Minuteman Mini Mall. Can you believe it? But that's all I could find. Again, they didn't have a lot that I was interested in. I was kind of sad, actually. I was looking forward to getting some stuff. I hadn't been in there in a long time with my knee and stuff. And I finally felt good enough I could go in there and walk around a little bit. And couldn't find anything except for those three. But well, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Okay, now let's move on to Michael's and let me show you a few things. Everything, everything that I'm going to show you here uh, was on sale. So I got me one of these, which is super pretty. This was called a, um, a spare. I want to call it an asparagus bush. I thought for sure that's what it was called. I don't know. I'll look it up. But anyway, I thought this was super pretty, and I love it. I got that. Then I got me one more tuff of these to go on that wreath. I finally did get my greenery in, so I guess we'll be doing that wreath later on this week for my front light post, a patriotic wreath. And this, I have one tuff of flowers like this, so I wanted to get one more tuff to go on that wreath. And then I got me a tuff of these flowers to go into my mailbox because here's the the uh, cover I, mailbox cover I got, and these match the florals that are on the mailbox cover. So I'll put these in the back of my mailbox. So aren't they cute? Love those. So then I got two more things. Got me some pipe cleaners. <laughs> these were a dollar. These were a whole dollar from the, uh, like, clearance. So I got these. And one more thing. Look at this. I don't usually buy pillows. I usually get pillow covers anymore from, from Amazon. But I thought this one was super pretty. And this I'm going to put in on my living room couch, like up on the top of my couch. Now I have my eagle picture over the uh, the couch in there. And I thought this would pair beautifully right underneath that picture, kind of sitting up on the back of the couch. So I love this. It's got a white ba or cream back. It's not, it's not uh, you know, feather or anything, but... It's pretty. It's going to be super pretty in there, I think. I love it. And that, my friends, is that. That's all I got. <laughs> Can you believe it? It really isn't that much. It really isn't that much. But I'm, I'm happy to haul some stuff for you guys because I I really do. I have not been doing a lot of hauling lately. And I feel well, like I don't know what's going on with my camera, but I feel like I look dark. Maybe I don't. When we're all said and done and I'm editing, it, I may not look dark. <laughs> the sun came out really bright behind me, so... Anyway, sorry if I look a little darker. I'm here, I promise. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's it with my haul. So let me go on into my couple of shout outs here. Uh, first one I want to shout out is, do y'all remember me? I always speak of this young gentleman. His name is Scott Singer and his YouTube channel, which I will link below, is Scott Singer Cruises. And this young man is the one of the most knowledgeable he's so young he's only in his early 20s but he is so knowledgeable about cruise ships about cruising about uh itineraries and he do he does a great vlog and he is getting really close to 10,000 subscribers on his youtube channel so i wanted to give him a shout out if any of you are are interested in cruising uh, and he does all cruise lines. He does, doesn't do Princess like I do. He does Holland America. He's done a Norwegian. He's done MS, what is it, MSC uh, and Princess and all kinds of different cruise lines. He's very, very well-spoken. He's fun to watch. He's been putting up videos of an Antarctica cruise that he and a, a friend of his went on uh, right as the pandemic was hitting. And he is so entertaining, you guys. So I thought you guys might enjoy him. So I wanted to give him a shout out. I know that this is my, you know, decorating channel and whatnot, but I thought, well, some of you travel too, I'm sure. So I thought some of you might be interested and in heading over there. Sorry about the plane overhead here. 
heading over there and checking out his channel, Scott Singer Cruises. And give him a thumbs up and give him a, a subscription if you if you are at all interested. It'd be great. <laughs> so, uh, Scott Singer Cruises. He's a wonderful young man. One of my best friends. He's, he's a great cruising buddy. And we go on his group cruises. Chris and I go on his group cruises. And he's so much fun to be with. He's the one that arranged the scavenger hunt when we were on the Island Princess in Alaska. So much fun. That was such a great cruise. So many memories made, so many friends made on that cruise. Uh, and it was because of Scott and his attitude and the way he put the whole cruise together. He and Cheryl. Cheryl is uh, his travel agent and sometimes my travel agent. And uh, when I go on his group cruises, I always use her, you know. So uh, wonderful, wonderful young man. Please check him out. Scott Singer Cruises. Yay. Help him get to 10,000. Tell him I sent you. <laughs> he'll, he'll have a chuckle out of that. Then the second one I want to shout out, and I've shouted her out before, and selfishly, she is a family member of mine, and her name is Corey Renee Wiltrout, and she does campfire cooking on her channel. And you guys, you helped her go uh, way up over, I think she said, she said we helped her get up over 100, uh, way up over 100 subscribers. And now I'm sitting here, I shared her in my Facebook group, but I see she's gotten some more since I, uh, since I shared her on my Facebook, in my Facebook group. And I don't know whether they're from you guys. If you, if they, if those subscribers are, thank you so much for those of you in my Facebook group. I see she's got 192 subscribers now. Let's take her up over 200, you guys, huh? Let's take her up over 200. I'd love to see her get up over 200. Oh, she's wonderful. She's beautiful. She's talented. She's well-spoken. She has a heart of gold. A heart of gold, sweet, 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 sweet spirited young woman who has three beautiful daughters, well, great husband in Kenny, three beautiful daughters, uh, one of which who's married uh, and she a has a brand new grandbaby. I, I just, I just love her so much. And yes, you know how I feel about my family. So she is part of my family. She's actually Vicki, who is Uncle Don's oldest daughter. She's Vicki's oldest daughter. Corey. Corey is Vicky's oldest daughter. Corey is my first cousin. So Corey's really my second cousin, but I don't even look at it that way. She's family, you know? So check her out. Corey Renee Wiltrout. I'll give a link for her channel in the description. Wait till you see what she cooks and how she does it. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay. So there we go. Those are the two I wanted to shout out. All right. So here we go with my questions. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, but I don't think they're long ones. So, okay. Number one is from Sandra Brown. Uh, two questions, please. Where did you get the beautiful wreath holder on the back of your front door? If a repeat question, sorry. And did you say Chris has dogwood tree cuttings? Is it easy to grow cuttings? Sorry, three questions. Uh, the wreath holder, my original, that one, that particular one came from Grandin Road, but I have them linked in my Amazon shop under a, a gift idea box, all it's all by itself called wreath hangers. So you can find it in my Amazon shop for cheaper than what I purchased it for. So also there are different types. I don't actually, the last time I was, I'm not sure if the antler, which is what that one's called. The antler hanger was available. If it's not in the Amazon shop, I'll give you a link for Grandin Road 2 in the description. Grandin, G-R-A-N-D-I-N Road, two, two words, Grandin Road. Uh, and if a repeat question, sorry, uh, the dogwoods, I think I they misspoke. Were, I, I think I might've said they were tree cuttings. If I did, I apologize. Chris said that they're actually just starters from dogwood seeds. And I don't know, I guess he gets them off the flowers or whatever. I don't know where he gets them or how he gets them or how he collects them, to be honest with you. But he does start them in little starter things in the wintertime usually. He gets them started and he'll have however many, you know, live and flourish. And then he has a lot that don't. So, but he just plants the seed in dirt and, you know, and starters like that. And that's how he does that. So there you go, Sandra. Hope that helps. I'm sorry if I misspoke. I apologize. I don't know anything about outdoor stuff, plants and stuff. I really don't. I'm terrible. <laughs> 
Okay, number two, Lori Cheney. Hi, Erlen, with your beautiful black drop. Oh, here we are again, huh? So pretty. I was wondering what yours and Chris's favorite flowers are. I asked Chris and he said, I like them all. He said, I don't have a favorite. Don't make me pick a favorite. I love them all. And he does. He has an array of flowers growing. He loves them all. He just loves to work with flowers and he likes to work with plants and his grass. Obviously, you can see. And uh, he loves it all. Uh, my, for me, I like uh, Gerber daisies are my favorite. As you can see here, I love roses of any color. Uh, and I like Somebody told me how to pronounce this, and I can't pronounce it. Peonies. I pronounce it peonies or peonies. Don't tell me how to pronounce it again. It's okay. I won't, I won't remember. <laughs> but I love peonies because I think they are gorgeous. So you just got to be careful with ants with the peonies if you bring them inside, you know, because they get down into all the, you know, well, with any flower they do. But those are my favorites. There we go. Thanks for that question, Lori. Okay, number three, Ginger Davies. Hi, Erlen. I had asked before, but I didn't see an answer. I'm sorry about that, girl. Did your home come with uh, Did your home come with front yard grass and back, or did Chris plant it all himself? It looks beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ginger. When we first moved in here, our uh, builder cleared 30 feet of trees all the way around our house. 30 feet out the front, out the sides, and out the back. Plus, behind, th beyond 30 feet that you can see to the fence there, they also cleared that. That is our drainage field, you know, for the septic system and stuff. That, that big area is the drainage field. And they did yeah. seed the yard when we first moved in. But I talked to Chris about this in the car. And he said, but that lawn that they seeded, it did not come in very well because we had a really dry year and it really didn't come in very well. So he told me to tell you that he has seeded and seeded and seeded for many years running. Uh, he has, it is, he's worked really, really, really hard to get the lawn looking like this, you guys. Uh, he seeds and he fertilizes. I don't know when or how much or what. I, honestly, I don't with the grass. I do know he uses lime every now and again, you know, uh, kills weeds all the time. I mean, you can see how beautiful his grass is. But this is Chris's doing. This is not the builder's doing. This is Chris's doing, for sure. I mean, yes, they, they gave us the parameter in which to work, you know, by clearing the trees and whatnot. But Chris has done this. It is his work. So I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I love a beautiful yard like this. And I, he just has a knack for it, you guys. He just has a knack for it. So, okay, there we go, Ginger. Now, number four, sorry, I got a bug flying in my face here. Uh, from Angela Brockman, uh, any tips your husband may have for babying the clematis? Does he use miracle Grow? And if so, how often? It is so pretty. I have enjoyed the video in the past with the deviled eggs and strawberry short and strawberry dessert. I've made both and they are so yummy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> enjoyed Maverick's little jig at the end. Prayers. He feels better soon. He's still sick, little pup. Have Absolutely. a great weekend. Well, we really did. <laughs> uh, I did ask Chris about the clematis too, and if he uses Miracle Grow. And he says on Sundays. He fertilizes all of his potted plants, all of his plants, actually plants that are in the ground too, I guess. He uses miracle Grow, and he just follows the package directions. That's all I can tell you, you know. And he said when he pours, when he pours like out of his bucket, you know, a spout, water, water can, he'll count like if he's, if he's doing um, like the plants that are in the ground, like Gerber daisies or whatever that are in the ground, he'll count one, two, three, four, move to the next. One, two, three, four, move to the next. One, two, three, four, move to the next. And with the clematis, he says, I count to 10. <laughs> and the trees, I count to 10, you know. And that's what he does. That's what he, want, that's what he told me to tell you. So I hope that helps. He doesn't use more miracle Grow than the package directs, though. So just to let you know that. But once a week is, is how often he fertilizes. So there we go. Okay, number five. Thanks for that question, Angela. Number five. Hi, Lynn. I love your patriotic dough bowl centerpiece. 
I was wondering if you decorate the wooden lantern by Bella D Design for every holiday. I would love to see that. Your creativity is so inspiring and your sweet little grandson just melts the heart and puts a smile on my face. Thank you for sharing him with us. Well, you are welcome, Miss Donna. Uh, I do decorate. Uh, I'll be putting, I'll put some pictures up here as I talk here of all of Bella's. Let's see, what do I have of Bella's? I have the large and small lantern. I have a two-tiered tray. And I have, she sent me, bless her heart. She sent me the two-tier tray. Bless her heart. She sent that to me uh, as a gift. And then she sent me the two black open lanterns, the shorter ones. Uh, and I'll give you pictures of everything that I've done. I just got the black ones just recently. So I've only done one thing with them. But I've done different things with the, with the taller lanterns. And I've done... Uh, basically the same thing on the two-tiered tray because I like how it turned out. So I just added a couple things for Easter, but I love that two-tiered tray. It's such a pretty little two-tiered tray. So I love Bella. Bella is absolutely phenomenal. She's a sweet lady. She is just has got a heart of gold. So go over there and check her out too. Bella D Designs. I can have her, give you her website and her YouTube channel. Lovely, lovely lady does beautiful work. And uh, somebody just said in a comment to, to me that they love working with the open lanterns and that they might, ooh, ooh, ow. Hopefully I'll live to tell the tale on that one. I won't swell up like a big old balloon. Gee whiz. Anyway, I have no idea what that was, but it was a dive bomb and it stung me pretty good. It's what I get for living in the woods and for sitting out in it. <laughs> oh well. Goodness gracious. Okie dokie, uh, you guys. Sorry about that. Me and I did get stung by something. I don't think it's so... I had to turn my video off for a minute. <laughs> it was hurting. I was like, what in the world was that? My goodness gracious, it did hurt. But it's already stopped stinging. So whatever it was, I don't think I'm swelling or anything. At least I hope I'm not. <sighs> for goodness sakes. I don't get... Oh, I'm not allergic to a lot like that. Bugs and bees and stuff like that. So I feel pretty... I feel okay. But boy, it did hurt when it hit me. Ah, whatever it was. Uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. I think Bella. Uh, so I'll just reiterate here. Uh, just be sure to check her out. She's absolutely wonderful. And I highly encourage you to go and visit with her a little bit. Uh, because and, and purchase some of her things on her website if you would like. Because her, her items are wonderful. I know what I was talking about. I was talking about how one of you had told me that you really like the open concept lanterns that she makes. And you were thinking about getting rid of your uh, lanterns with the glass on it. And I think that in some ways for my stuff, I love working with her open concept lanterns too. I think they're beautiful because you can really spread out the design, you know, out from the lantern. But I will say that I will keep some of my, you know, uh, glass lanterns too. Because I have some lanterns with like crisscross scroll work on the front, like the one on my hearth. You know, crisscross scroll work and things like that. And some scroll work that I really like on them. Also, I put Stacy's um, decals. So I, I think I'll keep some of them. But I, I like, I agree with you. I like the open concept lanterns too. So I like both. I like both. But anyway, there we go, you guys. That's about all I have to share with you today. Uh, even had a bonus like bee sting or whatever that was. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, it's feeling better now. It's not hurting. So... Uh, I just wanted to mention, uh, thank you guys so much for those of you who have checked to make, sorry about that, check to make sure that you are still subscribed. And for those of you who resubscribed, I appreciate it. I'm seeing my, my subscribers inch back up. I've got, uh, 31,591, I think this morning went up over 90, which was a big milestone because it's been under that forever. I think it went up there for like an hour one day, up over 90 for like an hour and for literally months. So I really appreciate you guys diligently checking and making sure you're still subscribed if you want to be. You know, uh, I don't know what was going on with YouTube. It seems like they've got their, their, their commenting figured out a little bit better and, I'm not seeing like extra, extra comments that I hadn't seen in months and months now. Maybe they, maybe they shook it sillies out or something. I'm hoping that I'm going to start seeing that those subscriber go up over, you know, 31, six and eventually 30, 32,000 and on, you know, I'd love to, to gain some more because the more people I gain, the more people I can touch and bring something happy to, you know, that's why I'm on YouTube. I'm not on here for my, for, 
for anything other than to hopefully bring joy to others, maybe be able to share some of what I, what I may know. Uh, you know, of course there's the naysayers who, who don't think I'm, I have any kind of talent or any kind of anything, but you know what, if, if I, if my words reach just one person, then I've done, done my, my job for the day, you know, or if one craft has, sorry, has reached one of you, then that's, that's important. If one vignette has whatever, one good word, you know? So thank you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. I'd love to have you. And with all that said, I'm going to go on into my final words now. Stay tuned till the end. I already showed you a bunch of pictures of Maverick, but I'll share that little video that Candace sent me of him playing with little Pearl, their little dog here at the end. And I don't know, maybe one or two other things. It might just be that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to swat away anything that's coming in front of my face here. I don't know. Uh, but let me go into my final words and say thank you all so much for stopping in here today. And I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you. Get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I'm sorry, you guys, I have a friend who's struggling. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.